Hello everyone, Wonder Tina here. I once promised that I would make a summary of what I observed during my last large project. Inktober was a good time to gather information and learn something new about running a YouTube channel. I deduct many things from my statistics, they are quite interesting. Even though this channel is like one of many hundreds of thousands of similar ones, but we will come back to this in a moment. Let's start with what I actually intended to do with this illustration when I finish the challenge. So let's choose illustration suitable for watercolor painting. Of course, I will only choose the ones I like the most. This is only 31 pieces of watercolor paper but look how thick the stack of paper turned out to be. I think this will be okay because I can already see them in colors. I put aside some that I am 100% sure of and on the other side are those that I definitely won't consider. Nevertheless, I will still consider the selected ones which may have quite a lot of potential. It's just a matter of choosing the colors. I actually choose the last illustration. I think it's already good without the colors, but I want to do it anyway. Let me just remind you that in this year's Inktober challenge, I prepared illustrations in such a way that they could be painted with watercolors. I used only materials that were best suited for this purpose. There is also the issue of this watercolor paper because it's low quality paper from Action Store. So we will see how it behaves. This whole month long project that I undertook has given me a lot. I work with English language on a daily basis in my regular job. I mostly write rather than speak, so I have never really had the opportunity to improve my language. Knowing a foreign language is one thing, but if you don't speak it, the words don't appear naturally in your head and putting together a, a specific sentence is quite difficult. I may sound understandable in my videos, but when I record, I have to look at text and then heavily edit the audio to make it digestible for the listener. But I find it much better than inserting text like I used to because it's boring and you can intone a lot with your voice. It's a bit like acting, it's much more fun. Now I have found many shortcuts to edit videos faster and have improved my skills in this area. I know which things should be done first and which should be left until last so as not to waste time. I am a productivity freak, but it's not just about work, it's the same with cooking and cleaning. In fact, what was happening with my stats, statistics turned out to be something very typical for this type of activity on YouTube, such as adding a video every day. It turns out that if you add a video regularly, at first the results increase. There is a big jump in the graph, but then there is a sudden drop that continues and there are no such jumps anymore. But later something happened that there is a constant viewership of videos every day which was not there before. And this is very interesting. It seems that adding a video every day affects the statistics to some extent. These aren't crazy results, but they are better than nothing. But I think people generally like my videos, because I never get any negative thumbs and the comments are creatively written. I think the issue with my channel is that it is an art channel like millions of others like it. Tell me, what do I do that is unique from other such art channels? I think it would make a difference if I started showing myself on videos and you got to know my full weirdness. But somehow this is not a comfortable solution for me because look at this, my channel is watched mainly by men. So can you explain to me what this is supposed to mean? Hmm? I don't want to turn into a simping channel. <laughs> And one more observation, which illustration were I liked the most in terms of statistics results? This video had the biggest boom and achieved the best results. I think several important factors played a role here. Firstly, character in the thumbnail has a very mm, expressive facial mimic. It's a typical YouTube thumbnail that makes you click. I used the fish eye perspective here. 
It seems that people really like illustrations created in some perspective. I noticed this because the illustration titled Dutch I thought no one would like and even to me it seemed quite stupid. But for some reason it was very liked here and on DeviantArt. Perspective is also used here but from above. This is a very good tip for making a good impression I see. 3. I think the video had something interesting in the message and overall it was successful in terms of the audio, the topic covered and the accident at the end of the video. And fourth reason, people always like illustration of a person or an animal. I can compare my last video because it was a drop in statistics and this is the moment when nothing actually helps. When there is a decline in stats, the number of offers to viewers decreases and in this period, generally, few people see these videos. Nevertheless, videos that had these topics performed much better than those that did not. After this time, I started to like doing things only on paper again and actually it would be quite nice to take and make a full 50 page comic book only in ink. I think it will have a much better impact on my eyes and sleep at night without constantly looking at the computer screen. I am really willing to do this because sometimes I get annoyed with my tablet. I need to replace it soon with a larger one that is at least 22 inches but I don't know if I will seriously need one that big. Okay, that's not everything I wanted to say but there will be plenty of opportunities to say it because I am still struggling with my thoughts about this channel but this is too much talk for once. Thanks for watching, bye.